You're listening to Extinction Radio FM. Listen to the podcast at extinctionradio.com. I'm a huge fan of independent um, citizen media. And uh, I'm really impressed that you have 2 million hits on your blog. How did, uh, do you have a promotional team? (laughs) <laughs> no, I don't. Um, yeah, I just started off, I was um, a member of our local transition town network, and we've got a very dear friend, Juanita McKenzie, and I just went down there, and we were, sat down together, and she sat down with a notebook, and we noted down all the things that I, I could do, and I committed myself I only remember the two things that I committed myself to. The first one was to get uh, Mike Rupert onto uh, national uh, radio, Radio New Zealand. And then the other one was to start up a blog. So I did the first. I think, I'm not sure which came first, but I got Mike Rupert onto the radio here. Oh, great. Uh, And then I just set up this blog and uh, it was really just, um, the idea was simply to, talk to those people who, you know, wanted to listen. Um, You know, it it started very, very small. And then gradually the readership um, increased. And I I started noticing that I was getting people reading me in in the United States. And I I mean, that really kind of... Mm -hmm. So I don't know how that happened. I I don't know how things happened on the internet. Uh, It might have been because of Mike Gruppert's network. People from there sort of knew about me from Facebook and things and started reading it. I I I know your stuff shows up a lot um, on the Near-Term Human Extinction Support Group. People are always sharing your your updates. Yeah. Yeah, But it's it's not just climate change that you're doing. I've noticed a lot of stuff on there um, about... uh, Russia, Ukraine. Um. Yeah, there's, there's all, all sorts of sustainability issues uh, you mentioned on there as well. And I mean, it's, 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 it's really comprehensive. Uh, how, how long ago did you start that up? Oh, that was, I've just had my fourth anniversary. So it took me, it took me three years to reach one million. And it's taken about one, um, one year to, to almost reach the second million. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. And, and, and I think my motivation has always been um, to try to cover the things that the media doesn't cover or that are hidden somewhere deep in the media. You know, you have to really look to, to find it. Yeah, so, so do you actually have to spend quite a lot of time uh, on a daily basis digging this information out? Well... The thing is that um, my own sort of physical health has taken a bit of a dive in the last four years, so I've had plenty of time on my hands. Right. And it's also a way of coping, I think, with the grief, you know, and with the, and with the sheer weight of this information. I don't know if you're familiar with the, you know, the idea in martial arts that you, you don't actually... You know, you breathe something into the hara and then you breathe it or you direct it out. And it feels to me, you know, when I'm on the computer collecting this stuff, putting it onto the blog, that I'm just sort of throwing it out to the universe. I'm not absorbing it in quite the same way emotionally. Right. Um, Well, it's extremely influential, uh, Robin, and uh, that can be seen by the hits. And I use it all the time. Uh, yeah. for information. I know a lot of other people who are involved in uh, NTHE and the like do as well. So you provide a fantastic service, mate. So so good for you and thanks very much. That's br- Well, thank you. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. If you want to find something out, go to Seymour Rocks and it's there, you know. Um, it's superb. Your compilations are wonderful. And yeah, that's a-, a great way to use to use that extra time, certainly. Yeah, well, I'm getting to the point where I am doing sort of compilations with, with, with links to articles, 
you know, to make a summary on along thematic grounds because there's so much happening everywhere. It's just, you know, uh, it's yeah. exponentially the information. But you, you can't possibly. I mean, I'd have to be on there 24 hours a day to do it justice otherwise. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think you do uh, you do it good justice at the moment. Uh, I think other people could catch up at other sites if they want anything else, but yours is one of the first places I go to. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 a really so I, I advise everybody that's listening to check out see uh, more rocks. All you've got to do is Google it or search it with whatever engine you use, and you're there. And keep on doing it because uh, loads and loads of information is there. So, um, what the media will not tell you. Exactly, and 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 Robin, what is your uh, what is your take on near term human extinction? Oh well, um, I think I felt um, a real sinking feeling at the time of COP fifteen in um, in Copenhagen in two thousand and nine, I think it was, and up till then, I sort of still had some sort of lurking hope that the politicians would agree something but then when I saw what happened there and then some of the stuff that I I watched BBC documentary on global dimming and that was the first mention that was that I heard, ever heard uh, made of of, 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 uh, of methane and that just had an electric effect on me. Now accepting the reality of the surreal.